for nine little Indians, don't count them out till they're out. For the fans, count on them to go overboard. And don't ever count on predicting the New York Yankees. Stay with us. What you can count on is baseball headlines and highlights. Coming up next on This Week in Baseball. Cincinnati's Pete Rose, a man who sets his sights on a goal and then goes out and grabs it. That's always been the story for the Reds' third baseman. But in 1978, during his greatest season, Pete set his goals one at a time, like Wee Willie Keeler's 44-game hitting streak, set back in 1897, the second longest of all time. Pete tied it in Atlanta against Phil Necro with this base hit. But the next night, the streak finally ended. Braves rookie Larry McWilliams and veteran Gene Garber stopped Rose, nothing for four. McWilliams robbed Pete of a hit on a smash up the middle in the second inning. Pete Rose, 44 games in a row. Only Joe DiMaggio had more. Other Reds, like Johnny Bench, have been working on goals more mortal. For Bench, returning to the lineup after painful back problems was a major achievement. Recently, he became only the second catcher to hit 300 career homers. George Foster, trying to win home run and RBI crowns for the second year in a row, has a mighty good shot, leading the league in RBIs while pulling even with Greg Lezinski in the home run race. But most important to the Reds is the National League Western Division title, and they continue to stay in the running. Honey, I know it's your birthday tomorrow, but Mommy has to go away on a business trip. Tell you what, you know that new bike you wanted for your birthday? Mommy will get it for you. That new video game, huh? Okay, you tell Mommy what you want, whatever it is. You got it. Visa Platinum, exceptional credit limit and worldwide acceptance. Purchase power for when it really counts. Does this mean I can't get the bike? In our family, men lose their hair early. No! Thank you! By the time we hit 30, we don't have to invest much in combs. So I started using Rogaine when I was like 28, at the first sign of fallout. Before I looked like I needed it, because I knew I would. So, there I have. I've been using Rogaine for about two years now, right at the source of the problem, and I don't see any difference. And that's the idea, you keep the hair you have. Look, I love my dad. I'm just not in a rush to look like him. Simple, safe, smart. Rogaine. It's stronger than heredity. This preview contains four slices of hot, melted cheese. A cheese sauce with a real racy kick. Plus two thick, juicy quarter-pound burgers. That's a lot of meat for national television. Got the urge? I need you to find these people now. Okay, boys, release the hounds. Searching for someone at your car insurance company after dark? At GEICO Direct, we're here 24 hours a day. In fact, one 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. So to the Los Angeles Dodgers. 
who have already drawn over two million fans at home and are shooting for the three million mark and a major league record. Of course, the tight three-team Western Division race can't hurt the Dodgers' attendance. The men in blue have had to scramble and fight even harder for their victories this year. They've been hanging tough thanks to revived play from men like Dusty Baker, who's picked himself up and once again is producing timely hits and important RBI. Against the Pirates, the Dodgers tried to make their push for first place. Pittsburgh's bad fortune in the City of Angels continued as the Dodgers picked up two important victories. Pitcher Tommy John struck the big blow in the first game. He's back in the winning groove. And a little extra self-made offense doesn't hurt. John won his 12th game to give the Dodgers four straight, while another Dodger ace, now gaining applause, Don Sutton, pitched a two-hitter to win the second game and the team's fifth in a row. Sutton has also been coming on strong, particularly after being warned about cutting the baseball. This win moved the Dodgers into a tie for first place for the San Francisco Giants who had amazed everyone by hanging on to a slim first place lead in the West for over two months. This week it appeared their hold on the number one spot might finally slip away, but the Giants refused to lose their grip. All year long, they've been winning the close ones on close plays. Jack Clark. Only 22 years old and still learning, but already a solid, most valuable player candidate. If Clark and his teammates have an intangible edge over their more experienced rivals, it's been their infectious ability to blossom as a team. expected Bill Madlock to make the move from third base to second, but his manager did and considers it a key to giant success. Bill accepted the move toward the tail end of last year, went over to second base, actually went to our instructional league in Phoenix and played some ball games at second base there. So when you're talking about Bill Madlock playing second base, you're talking about a perennial 300 hitter that's playing second base, a real good clutch hitter and doing a real good job at third base in Darrell Evans, and opening up a spot for a fine defensive shortstop like Johnny Lamaster. Of course, with a pitcher like Vita Blue on the mound, fielders tend to stay on their toes and get on top of the big plays. Vita stepped into the picture just when the Giants needed him. With his 15th victory, a shutout over the Cubs that completed a doubleheader sweep and put the Giants back in first alone by their customary narrow margin. In the National League Western race, the Giants remain in the winner's circle. On any given day, the picture could change, but don't ever try to convince San Francisco fans. They just keep on cheering their league leaders. And at Candlestick Park, the music plays on and on. There's no question that these machines run modern businesses or the demand will grow for people who can administer these networks. The opportunity exists. The question is, can the opportunity be yours? With a systems administration degree from Master's Institute, the answer is yes. Find out how you can begin a career in a field that is shaping the way business works, a growing field that will continue to grow in the future. Just call Master's Institute at 1-800-883-5995. In as short a time as 18 months, you can earn a degree in systems administration. And with our job placement service, you can soon be earning a living doing something you enjoy. 
More questions? Call Masters Institute at 1-800-883-5995 for details today. Masters Institute, higher education for a high-tech world. Discover the amazing training secrets of America's finest baseball school in an exciting instructional video. Baseball World's Defensive Drills video features professional scout and instructor Tommy Mansky and the same techniques that produced his back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back AAU national championship teams. Collegiate Baseball Magazine's editor calls it a masterpiece, the best drill video ever produced. This video is endorsed by top professionals like superstar Fred McGriff. This is the instructional video that gets results. The Defensive Drills video benefits players of all ages and ability levels and makes a great gift too, so call now. It's Old Timers Day at Yankee Stadium and the introduction of a favorite old timer, Billy Martin. And then the blockbusting announcement that he'd be the new Yankee manager in 1980. This only five days after he'd resigned. The startled crowd stood up and roared. moment was emotional and to say the least bizarre a plot twist that would make the movies blush later at the press conference Billy Martin and Yankee owner George Steinbrenner seemed almost as stunned as their fans when I quit in the other day I called George and told him how I apologize for what was said I did say it I don't know why I said it. I was angered at the time. I had no reason to say it. And I feel very bad about it. Billy Martin uh, came to me after he had resigned. Uh, what he said to me showed me that he was a man who realized uh, that he had maybe made a small mistake. And it was small in the total picture. I'm a free spirit. And I'm going to try to do other things that George wants me to do. And at the same time, he says he's, he's going to try to be a little more free spirit, too. <laughs> Whatever it all meant, the occasion sure lifted everyone's spirit. The Yankees were, after all, honoring their storied past. And men like number five, Joe DiMaggio, were there to congratulate Martin, who had once shared in their glory. Casey Stengel always favored the scrappy second baseman who compensated for lack of great natural ability with heads up plays like this that saved the 1952 World Series. Casey's man was not a renowned hitter, but in the 53 series he batted 500 and led the Bronx Bombers to their fifth straight world championship, a major league record. The memory of those years under Stengel still flames Billy's desire to remain Yankee manager. I firmly believe that the biggest challenge in this thing doesn't lie with me, or with the Yankees. The biggest challenge of all lies with Billy. But the challenge of the present belongs to current manager Bob Lemon, an old-timer from the Indians who's done plenty already to restore the Yankees to health. He gave back Reggie Jackson a full-time job and Reggie responded with a scorching week at the plate, batting almost 600 and leading the Yankees in their sudden surge toward the slump-ridden Boston Red Sox. Within days, Jackson turned an orchestra of boos into cheers. Lemon returned Reggie to his cleanup position and Thurman Munson to his catching position. Suddenly, both Yankee stars were smoking and New York had lit a pennant fire. A wild week in a wild Eastern division that now features five contenders. Have you got him then? I need a person to soon teach me. Hadna, hadna! Isn't it Schmidt? 
من نخنید The other day I tell my dad that I just totaled my car He freaks When he calms down I explain to him about this stuff Black Magic Total Shine It's brand new, it's so cool It shines and protects the inside and the outside of your car So you don't need anything else Just wipe it off paint, vinyl, plastic and chrome Then wipe it off for a totally awesome shine You know what he says to me then? When are you going to total my car? Yeah, great New Black Magic Total Shine The only way to total your car Small business deserves a big break. Introducing Sprint Savings for your bottom line. If your small business spends at least $50 a month on long distance, call 1-888-SPRINT-BIZ extension 2 now. We'll give you the lowest long distance bill, or you'll get $100 of free long distance, guaranteed. There are no long-term commitments, no hidden fees. End of story. That's how confident we are that we can deliver the highest quality service with the lowest bill for your small business. So call 1-888-SPRINT-BIZ extension 2. We'll give you the lowest long distance bill for in-state, out-of-state, even international calls. And if we can't lower your bill, you'll get $100 of long distance. Free. We guarantee it. Call 1-888-SPRINT-BIZ extension 2. Ask about Sprint savings for your bottom line. Then put Sprint quality and innovation to work for your small business. This Sunday, ESPN Classic presents a real classic that'll knock you off your feet. Don't look back. The inspirational true tale of Satchel Page. I'm ready. Lewis Gossett Jr. lights up the screen as the small-time pitcher who became a major league legend. Oh, Satchel! It's real classics. It's Don't Look Back. This Sunday night at 9, only on ESPN Classic. The Cleveland Indians. In Cleveland, victories are not automatically in the bag, but the future looks much prettier. The tribe has been playing over 500 for a month and a half, and one reason is the constant hustle of this man, Dwayne Kuyper. After hitting only 230 for the first two months of the season, the Cleveland second baseman warmed up and is hitting around 330 the last two months. But when you think of Dwayne Kuyper, you think of his glove, which is consistently spectacular. Artistry of field like that can't help but wise up a pitching staff and add victories to the win column. Kuiper's glove is no surprise, but the Indians' booming bats held high have caught more than one pitcher off guard. Only five teams in the major leagues have a higher batting average than Cleveland. Third baseman Buddy Bell is the club's leading hitter and is enjoying his finest season. Although not relied on for home run power, Bell occasionally hits for the circuit, and at the age of 26, has already driven in close to 400 big league runs. Shortstop Tom Verizer is the new link in the Cleveland infield. A 197 hitter with the Tigers last year, Tom is now flirting with 300. And you have to go back almost 30 years to Lou Boudreau to find an Indian shortstop for this high an average. Catcher Gary Alexander is another newcomer, obtained from the A's just before the June trading deadline. Primarily a designated hitter in Oakland, Alexander never really got used to it. When a ball player's been playing every day, even throughout the minor leagues, you know, he's playing every day at a position, and then they switch him to a designated hitter spot, it's just like pinch hitting four times a day. And it's very hard to get used to, you know, and I'm still, I'm still not in the flow of things as a de designated hitter. But uh, I just hope I can um, stay in the lineup and keep hitting. In Cleveland, Gary's now in the lineup, working on his catching, while becoming one of the major league's top clutch hitters constantly supplying the long ball. First baseman Andy Thornton had a banner season for the Indians last year with 28 home runs, but he's ahead of that pace this year, having already belted 21. 
and is among the league leaders in RBIs. The Cleveland Indians have certainly gone unnoticed in the American League East this season, but keep an eye on the standings. A 500 or better season is not out of the question for the building tribe. My name's Bob. Tim. Karen. I'm quitting smoking. With Nicorette. Nicorette gives me two ways to help control my cravings. First, I help prevent them. You see, I set myself up on a regular schedule. Six pieces a day. Nine. Twelve. Do you know when you just get that craving anyway, late for a gig, rough crowd? I take another piece to help take control. And now, after smoking for 20 years... I'm finally gonna make it. I'm sticking with it. I'm gonna do it. You can do it. Nicorette can help. Are you still sawing the old-fashioned way? Stop! Introducing Power Blade, a tool that's proven and packed with power. Write down this number and stay tuned to get this cutting revolution at an unbeatable promotion price. It slices through hard wood as if it were paper. Try it on plexiglass or plastic for a clean, crisp edge. This tool cuts tile quickly and cleanly. Even brick is no match for Power Blade. It slices through Formica with no chips or splinters and melts this mighty masonry block as if it were butter. Its secret is a hardened abrasive construction that won't crack or break, so it gives you awesome sanding power, too. It even strips thick, crusty paint and eats right through. Look out! There's a nail! No problem. Power Blade demolishes it. It's so tough, we cut a tempered steel file without breaking this robust tool. But there's more. Power Blade will sharpen a chisel, an axe, or even a lawnmower blade. And here's the best part. Call right now to get this all-round toolbox treasure for just $9.95. A promotion price before we introduce Power Blade to retail stores. Just call the 800 number on your screen, but we want something from you. When you receive your Power Blade, please fill out a simple market research form, and you'll get this rem Revolutionary tool for just $9.95. As a special bonus for ordering today, you'll also receive a free 30-day trial membership in America's Advantage, guaranteeing you the lowest prices in the country on more than 250,000 products and services. But you must be among the first 1,000 callers responding to this announcement. Pick up the phone now to get your Power Blade. To get your Power Blade, have your credit card ready and call the number on your screen now. You'll get your Power Blade at our special promotion price. Plus your 30-day free trial membership in the America's Advantage Discount Buying Club. Sorry, no CODs or personal checks. Don't miss this bargain price. Call and get your Power Blade right now. Okay, baseball fans. Time now to check out the bird with the word. Sounds like good advice, so let's all take a look. Come on, man, you've got to have good eyes to see from there. Just sit back and relax. And that's one way to relax. But once the game starts, you better keep your eye on the ball, or it just might get by. It looks like gloves don't always help. But then some players don't even need them to make the play. Some batters even feel like they don't need their bats. contagious. The bat boy can't even hang on. Now watch this act, a broken bat on a swing and a miss. The batter didn't even hit the ball. Well, maybe bats like records are just made to be broken. Now let's get back to the ball. Well, you can't always get to the ball. Maybe it's best to hide in the stands on such occasions. They might check the dugout, but who would ever look for a player in the stands? Now, fans are expected to be in the stands, but that sure doesn't keep them out of the act. Even the ice cream man wants a souvenir. Watch. 
At least most fans are ready. But sometimes the easy ones are even hard to get. be in the act, but in baseball, you can even have a ball without the ball. Now let's give five to some defensive sparklers. Greg Nettles to Ron Guidry to Chris Chambliss, some kind of teamwork. Five gentlemen. Five to Pete Rose for hitting in 44 straight games. This one smells like another Rose hit, but Jerry Martin says no. It didn't stop the streak, but a fine catch. Now watch shortstop Tim Foley. Another way to stop a hit. the good old summertime, watch Dwight Evans. It's a base hit. But the runner is still out. Next, some street cleaning at second base, furnished by A.D. Cruz. At third base, Pete Rose goes after Larry Boa in a revolving door. Now at home plate, left fielder Ken Landro teams up with catcher Brian Downey. Finally, watch this solo flight in center field by Chicago's Chet Lemon. How about that? Baseball in the summertime, and crowds continue to applaud their hero. The big one in Detroit is Rusty Staub. The Tigers' designated hitter leads the major leagues and runs batted in and could reach the 100 mark in the next couple of weeks. And speaking of RBIs, the Montreal Expos got 19 in a 19 to nothing shutout over the Atlanta Braves. Andre Dawson tied a major league record by hitting two homers in one inning. But that was just part of the story. The Expos connected eight times all together, tying another big league mark. Larry Parrish hit three homers in three consecutive innings and is the recipient of this week's Gillette Special. The Montreal third baseman also drove in five batted over 400 in a 10-game sizzling summer stretch. Congratulations, Larry. That's all for this week, folks. See you next week on This Week in Baseball.